Welcome to episode 45. And what if I told you that there was a simple way to increase productivity in your workers, in your team, and also even make them happier, right? Imagine that. So stay tuned. We'll talk more about that. Here we are. We're talking about the water cooler effect. So what exactly is that? You know what a water cooler is, right? You know, a place that everyone likes to hang out and chill. At work, usually, it's just like a water tank. Sometimes there's coffee, usually like a little kitchen area. That's the water cooler, right? People like to hang out and they chit chat and most people think like, oh yeah, they're not doing their job, they're just goofing off, right? But in reality, they're actually doing more for the company than just hanging out and, and goofing off. What MIT did was they did a study and they had everyone with a badge and that badge what that badge did was to communicate with with other people when they get close to each other through radio frequency to kind of figure out and start actually recording conversations just of course it's a test to see and also measure their productivity and what they found found out was that through this it was an increase in cohesion and what that means is how well they are networked uh, amongst their, you know, with their peers, with their friends within the company. And also they are, uh, from that, they were more productive. And also they have more access to, to different individuals now. So imagine, right, someone that's sitting in their cubicle or sitting in front of their desk that doesn't talk to anyone and no one really talks to them. How productive do you think that person uh, would be? Right? versus someone that is really well connected and they run into this really difficult problem, they at least know who to talk to or who to, who to reach out to, right? So that's the, really the whole, whole idea behind this. And the type of work that we're getting in, in this day and age isn't as simple as putting it on a bolt, right? We have to be more innovative, we have to be creative. So now when, when we're looking at this aspect in, in business, employers should encourage, you know, having having individuals, having their team members and their staff just hang out and, 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 and talk. So imagine if you could do this for your team, what if you could do this for yourself as a business owner? And that's one of the things that uh, Jonathan Seller at Second Try Media mentioned when I was at his event um, last week. He talked about, you know, finding your own water cooler. And I think that's that's awesome because just like how you should encourage your staff to do that, you should also do it yourself. But it's not necessarily at your own place, but see where your audience, where your target market, what kind of network do you want to build to build up your water cooler. So I hope that helps. See you next time.